All right, so which object is heavier, your chair or the, be the red bean bag? How many of you felt like the chair might be heavier? How many of you feel like the bean bag might be heavier? So we have a mix. So do we know the answer to this? No. Not really. We only have guesses of which one we think it might be. So now we need to talk, discuss how can we find out which one is heavier? How can we figure out what, um, what method can we use to figure out which one is heavier? And Luna. Okay, so a scale. And what do we do with the scale? Okay, that was a very good explanation. She said you put on, put each one on it and see how much it weighs and then compare their weights. Is there another way to test it out? Because uh, we, we definitely use scales. Cars. By lifting it? By lifting it and seeing which one? Yeah, put each one both arms. Okay, so trying, kind of lifting with, creating your own balance. Have you guys, do you guys remember a balance from science? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's like this, so you can kind of create your own balance. Okay, I'm going to try that and see what happens. Okay, I got my main bag, and I got my chair. Ow. Hmm. I'm having a hard time. They're pretty close. Is this gonna, is this gonna be an effective method in this case? I'm holding them right now, and I don't really feel that much a difference. This one might be a little heavier, but I'm also right-handed, so maybe it feels heavier because because it's my left hand. Let's try this. Yeah, it still feels heavier. So probably the chair, but yeah. it wasn't a competition. But the best way to be sure would be to use a scale because then we can we can weigh it, we can compare the weights, and then we would know exactly which one was heavier. Okay. So today's lesson is 12-3. Go ahead and turn to the when Luna was describing what we would do with the scale, she said that we would weigh it and see how, much, how many pounds it was, each were. What if they both said that they were five pounds? Does that necessarily mean they still weigh exactly the same thing? I'm getting some nuts. What do you think, Preston? No, because you forgot about ounces. There could be ounces. You can, and even just thinking in terms of half. Right? Could you have five pounds or five and a half pounds? No. You can even have five and a quarter pound or five and a twelfth pound. So we can still have one that weighs more than the other. And using ounces is another way to narrow down even closer how much something weighs. Okay, so we have ounces and pounds are the measurements that we're talking about right now. Ounces and pounds. Which one is heavier, an ounce or a pound? Just go ahead and tell me. Pound. A pound. Do we remember what our benchmark was for a pound? Does anybody remember what our benchmark was? Just Haley. A loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. So the benchmark we used for a pound was a loaf of bread. What was the benchmark we used for an ounce? Don't raise your hand until you know, Sophia. Five pencils. Five pencils. Was it five pencils? It was five. We know that a loaf of bread weighs more than five pencils. They are customary units. They're not metric. Remember metric mass units are things like grams and kilograms, um, customary or ounces and pounds. And then we decided how does the size of a pound compare to an ounce? Well, we know that a pound is heavier because we know a loaf of bread is heavier than five pencils. So we're going to look on a number line. They've done it on a number line and they've shown what a pound is. Here is one pound and here is one ounce. So I want you to use your pencil, you don't have to use a color pencil, shade one pound on the number line. So this is what that would look like. All the way to a pound and then back and shade. Go ahead and do yours real quick. So the next step says use a different color to shade one ounce. So I'm going to start here. I, should, I need to shade my purple better. Should go all the way to the zero and shade one ounce. Compare the size of one pound to the size of one ounce. You need how many ounces to make a pound? Raise your hand when you know. We need 16 ounces to make one pound. 
So one pound is how many times as heavy as an ounce? Six. It's 16. 16 times as heavy as an ounce. So here's one, here's two times, three times, four times, six, five times, all the way up to 16 times. How does the number line help you compare those things? The size of each of the units. How does it help you compare the pounds to ounces? Go ahead and write it out. All right, who would like to explain how the number line helped you compare the size of the units? Nicholas, nice and loud for me. Okay, very good. Anybody else want to try? Lydia, nice enough. It helps because I could understand which side was ounce and which side was pounds. Okay, very good. And one more. Haley, nice enough. It helps because it tells me how much a pound is, which is 16 ounces. Very good. All, right, all those would work. Any kind of comparing them, it helps you kind of visualize an ounce size compared to a whole pound, too. Nancy needs five pounds of flour to bake pies for a festival. She has 90 ounces of flour. How can she determine if she has enough flour to bake the pies? Does this look kind of familiar? Maybe. Yes. Kind of like yesterday, right? So if one pound is 16 ounces, how can we decide how much two pounds would equal? Okay, I heard some multiplication. I heard two times what? 16. 2 times 16. Did anybody do the math for that? What did you get, Harris? 32. 32 what? Ounces. Ounces. Okay, so we'll put 32 in our chart. How are we going to find out how many ounces are in 3 pounds? I want you to tell me, figure out a way that you can do it with you without multiplying. How could you figure out how many ounces are needed without multiplying? Benny. 16 plus 16 plus 16. 16 plus 16 plus 16. We do it three times, right? Because there's three. So I could do 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. <coughs> and that's 4. So I can add 48 ounces. We, but we could do multiplication, in which case I would have done 3 pounds times how many? 16, and I got 48 ounces. Okay, 4 pounds. I'm going to multiply by what? 16. 16. Did anybody do the math on that? What did you get, Christine? 64 ounces. Did any of you, when you were figuring out 64, double the 32? Because that's how I did it. I just said, well, I don't know 4 times 16 off the top of my head. But I know 4 times 2, I mean 2 times 16 is 32. So I can double it to get the 4 times it. Okay. And then the last one is 5 times 16. What is 5, or what is 5 times 16? Aureli? 80. 80. How did you figure that out, Ellie? Uh, Ellie. Yeah. Aureli? Yeah. I did 6 times 5. And so... Okay, so she counted by fives until she got to 16. Um, did anybody multiply 16 times 10 and then do half? You did? You did it that way? 16 times 10, Jalen? Yes. Um, so what, how, explain to us how you did that. So can you tell us in your head how you did it? Go ahead and underline the question on your book. What was the question? Who wants to tell me what's the question? Finny. Right, how can she determine if she has enough to bake the pies? And we um, just kind of did some math to see. And what numbers are we trying to figure out? She needs how many pounds? Five. Five. And she knows she has how many ounces? Ninety. Ninety. Look down here, how many pounds is? Five. Five pounds is how many ounces? Eighty. Eighty. And she needs, oh, she has ninety. Does she have enough? No. Yes. Her need is eighty. She has ninety, so she has enough. So ninety ounces equals, and five pounds equals eighty ounces. And this is greater than this. She has ninety. She needs eighty. Ninety is greater than the five pounds. So she 
has enough flour to make the pies. <laughs> okay, there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. Make a table that relates tons to pounds. If there's 2,000 pounds in one ton, how many pounds are in two tons? Think about it before you start yelling it out. How many? 4,000. Very good. So then threes, three tons are? 6,000. One ton is how many times as heavy as a pound? 2,000. 2,000. I know it's hard. You want to think 1,000 because it's a nice even number, but it's actually 2,000. Four tons is how many pounds? Bella. Four tons equal to 8,000 pounds. And how did you find that? I did, well, I know that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. So I did four times. Four, four times 2,000 equals 8,000. Very good. So 4 ton times 2,000 equals 8,000 pounds. 5 tons equals how many pounds? Go ahead and do it on your own. Okay, what did you guys get for 5 tons equals how many pounds? 10,000. Oh, nice. Okay, so the next one is, go ahead and figure out how many ounces are in 6 pounds. Okay, why don't you tell me what did you get? 16 times 6, so this is the how you got it? Yeah. 16 times 6, and what did you get when you did 16 times 6? 96. 96 ounces. So 96 ounces is right. 